Well, hello once again. What we're going to do today is going to be a quick short video. An update on a few things that have been taken care of and that are still outstanding that need to be taken care of. A little old jukebox has decided to act up again. Never fails. Never fails. This uh, light down here, I'm afraid I'm going to have to wind up breaking down and getting some new sockets down there. Probably one on each end because if I don't twist that thing just right... And that, that light will not light. If I shut this thing off and turn it back on, that light, again, will not light until I fiddle with it. So, small thing, I'll go down to the electric shop where I got the bulbs and see if they have some new connectors I can buy. Or sockets. Also, uh, something we managed to get done. Uh, we got our little Seaberg thing lit up here. We put a couple of bulbs on it here, ran the power down to a, a terminal block underneath the, uh, the lid. However, uh... The problem I'm having now is when I select a song, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you what the problem is. Uh, and the, apparently, it's in the tour mat. Uh, I'm going to have to open up the tour mat uh, chassis in the back when I get time. <laughs> uh, Brendan and our good uh, subscriber and expert uh, Seaberg repairman, uh, Harry Hall, they both agree that it's the Tormat, so fine, it's the Tormat. I'll go down here, I know where to look in the Tormat for this problem. Let's see if it's going to work. If it's just my luck, today it'll work. It hasn't worked at all. Uh, we'll select a song, and then we'll go ahead and play, let's play, uh, oh, let's just play D3. D, now watch what happens when I press, press 3. That's all it does, it goes over and quits. It's supposed to do the search, and it won't do it. Now, so... It's those little contacts down here in that in that uh, tour mat that are going to have to be adjusted. Harry Harry Hall told me how to do it. One more thing I wanted to show you was these empty slots that had they were just clear glass that went right on through have now been filled with little little labels. Uh, you can buy these labels or have them, you know, fire, you know, reproduction or older ones, I guess. I was contacted by a fellow named Jake down in Baytown, Texas. He said, John, I have some of these if you'd like to put them in. Uh, he said, this lid is definitely not the AY100 lid, but he says somebody cut him out, cut him out, and did all that. So now we know for sure it's not an AY100 lid, but it's going to have to work because we're not going to change it. But he said, I have some of these. He said, there's a clips on the back. He said, you just slip them up into those clips and and they'll work. So he, he sent me several of them. You can get to these. Some of them are original. Some of them are reproduction. So Jake uh, sent me enough hit, the ones that said hit tunes. I said, the heck with it. All of my songs are hit tunes. So I went ahead and put hit tunes in every single slot. Good for him. Jake in Baytown, Texas. Well, as you can see, I've got the radio off the bench and in the house. Hopefully I'll have it finished up today or by noon tomorrow. Uh, I've been busy doing a lot of other things. Just one thing after another. But, we do have some packages that we have received. Now, the first one I already showed you was from our good buddy Jake down in Baytown, Texas. Those labels. And I greatly appreciate that. And, uh, we received, two days ago, a, a gift from an unknown subscriber. Now, that's the best way I can put it. I, it just says, from one of your YouTube subscribers. It is from Omaha Steaks, and it is two filet mignons, two top sirloins, two boneless pork chops, four caramel apple tarts, some potatoes au gratin, and a seasoning, a signature seasoning packet, they call it. You know, the guy brings this thing to the, to the door, he sets it on the table in the carport, and I just happened to be walking out when he was on his way into the truck, a UPS speller, I think it was UPS. Anyway, uh, I'm like, what the heck is this, you know? As usual, a package arrives out of nowhere. I didn't know it was coming. Only this time, I had no idea who it was from. I took it inside. No, I still didn't know what it was. You know, it was in a styrofoam thing. I took it inside and I opened it up. And there it was, all these Omaha steak things. And uh, it just says from a... From a uh, one of our YouTube subscribers. Yeah, I think they said I, we, I've earned it or something. I haven't earned anything, guys. The only thing I've earned is my right to be an American citizen living in this wonderful country of ours, the United States of America. I have been around the world, I can tell you people, 
I would never live anywhere else. Never, ever, ever. There's no place better than our country, the good old U.S. of A. And I don't care what anybody says, left, right, independent, doesn't matter. That's the only thing I've ever earned in my life, the right to be an American citizen, because I've lived long enough and done enough, I think, to become an American citizen. And uh, when I get things like this, I don't know what to think about things like this. I, I don't know what the... You know, it makes me wonder, well, what could I have done that would motivate someone to send me a, a bunch of steaks? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I got them. I appreciate it. But, my God, you guys have got to stop spending your money on me. I have enough money to buy steaks, and I appreciate the, uh, the goodwill and the gesture and, and the thoughtful, kind uh, consideration that, that you give me. And it's wonderful. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Who, whoever our, our anonymous YouTube subscriber is, Thank you very much. Uh, I will be cooking those things up probably within the next month or so. Just a couple at a time, you know. I'm not going to just go in there and like cook up a bunch. A uh -huh. couple at a time. Make them last, you know. Thank you very much. But please, uh, Christmas is coming. Uh, save your money and put it in the Salvation Army bucket rather than spend it on me, okay. That, that, would, be, that would benefit a whole lot more people than just me and wifey and uh by the way she's doing real good she's getting even better and stronger every day this is fantastic uh for those of you who are familiar with oxygen concentrators for people with copd when she came home from the hospital uh the doctor ordered that she be on eight liters uh, per minute of air a machine to put out eight liters of air so they provided us the hospice people provided us with a, a 10 liter machine well, when we got home, we found out that even that was not going to be enough. So we, I cranked up the five liter machine to go with it. And we put both of those things up under her mask. And that finally gave her some relief. And she got some good oxygen absorption in her blood. And so uh, it was like eight and five, what, 13. So she had, I didn't use the, I didn't crank it up the, the 10 liter machine all the way to the top. So she had, she had 13 liters of air. <laughs> uh, every night until she finally began to get better. She began to come around a lot better and she, so we began to wean her off of the, the oxygen from the machine. And we went down from what, 13 to 12 to 10 to nine to eight. And finally we got to where <clears throat> all we had to have was the, a, the 10 liter machine. So we eliminated the five temporarily, you know, put it over in the corner. And then she went down to, to seven, six, five, and four. So I said, well, how about that? You know, we got rid of the 10 and brought the five back, the five liter machine uh, and concentrator. And she has done so well that she is down to two liters right now, from 13 down to two. That's amazing as far as I'm concerned. So the, for those of you who deal with that sort of thing, uh, most of us, you know, had I never run into this situation before, it wouldn't have meant a whole lot to me. But 13 liters, 5 liters, what does that mean, you know? But there's folks out there that know what that is. And that's a major improvement. So, I don't know, even at 2 liters, she's still got about a 94% absorption rate. So, we've talked it over. We're going to try to go down maybe to 1.5 next week. Maybe, you know, it's possible we could get her to get off that machine for 2-3 hours a day. That would be nice, you know, just maybe use it at night. Who knows, you know, all the prayers are out there, guys. I, and wifey says she can feel them. Uh, I have total faith in what you're telling me. Keep them going, okay? I'd love to get my wife off that stupid machine. It's like being tethered to something all the time, dragging those crazy hoses around. But what are you going to do? But if he, the way I figured, if, he can, if she can go down to two, she can go down to one. And, if, boy, I'll tell you what, there's a point where you just say, hey, <clears throat> I'm getting off this thing for a while. Maybe we can go downtown, do a little shopping go to a restaurant without having to drag all that stuff around, that would be nice, you know. Of course, we'll take oxygen bottles and a hose in the car just in case you never know what's going to happen, you know, a little added insurance. I'm also, I've also bought an inverter. Uh, Brendan and I uh, selected an inverter to buy to hook to the van. It's a 600 watt, and it, an inverter will convert 12 volts DC to 110 volts AC, and we can take her her five liter concentrator put it in the van and we can take it with us and just plug it into that thing as long as the car is running we can plug it in without using any oxygen bottles if she needs the air 
uh, it's right there. I, got, I have the concentrator right there. You know, it'd be fantastic. Uh, I don't know if I were, they came and took away the, the one of the five the other day because the one we were using had belonged to uh, uh, great grandma before she left for North Carolina. So they came and got it, and took it away. So now we're back to the ten, but it's set to two. And you know, I would like to have the five back. If they say no, you got to have the ten, and I'll say fine. I'll just buy it. We'll buy our own. You know, they're not that expensive. We'll get our own. We'll plug it in the car and take it with us wherever we go. If everything works out. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm just, I can't tell you how happy I am about that. Anyway, getting back to this. Thank you very much again for the steaks. I do like them. I've had them. I've had, uh, I think, two. I think I bought them. I got them twice. Uh, once I bought my own and, no, th actually three times. Once I bought my own and two other times some friends out in California I had done something for them, and they wanted to pay me back, which again was not necessary, but they did it anyway. So thank you very much, whoever our anonymous uh, uh, YouTube subscriber is. Next item on the list, we got another package in, and this one is from our good subscriber down in Florida, Ron C. Now Ron C. sent it to Wifey directly. It is a bro it's from Broadway Basketeers. And it's a it's a it's a basket full of uh, candy and and uh, peanuts and and, and uh, what's called brownie brittle and, and a bunch of things like that and a nice little pretty basket with a nice big bow on it and everything and it's addressed uh, it says it's addressed to my wife he says please have a speedy recover recovery with prayers and love Ron C and I've already sent him an email about it to tell him we did receive it thank you very much. Uh, again, Ron, you gotta be careful with that Ron guy. You know he he's just too he's too he's generous to a fault. You know he, he really needs to slow down on that too. You know somebody I, I always worry about guys like Ron and other people like him that someone's gonna come along and just take advantage of him someday. <laughs> and it's gonna be like and they're gonna get so angry because they got taken advantage of that. You know they're just gonna distrust people entirely the rest of their lives. <laughs> I hate to see that happen. I have seen that happen and. Uh, Thanks again, Ron. Wifey again. His wifey threw a, threw him a, a, a hundred kisses, by the way. <laughs> I don't even get one smooch or two. He gets a hundred. Okay, last thing we have here is a package that came in a while back that I've been meaning to get to, but I haven't done it. The time has to be right <laughs> for all this stuff. It is from, yes, yes, yeah, the, the man who envies me from one end of his day to the end when he goes to bed. He thinks about me all the time. Uh, you know, it's sort of a, gee, he's, John is so good down here in Arkansas. I wish I could just do as well as he does. Good old Buzz, 1151 up here in Portland, Oregon. You know where all those Antifa guys are. He's probably a member of that Antifa crowd, by the way. Okay, so we're going to open that one up right here. And see what he sent us. Probably another apology gift for cheating on the potato contest. By the way, there's some stuff coming up about that potato contest. Again, I, I mentioned to him in an email, or a comment, he made a comment in one of my videos, and I mentioned the buzz. For those of you who pay attention to the videos and watch them, it all, involved, it all centers around the potato growing contest we had three years in a row. Uh, anyway, I was contacted by a guy about buzz, and I told buzz, I, I received a phone call about you here, and uh, so that, that's still ongoing. I received a second call about Buzz from the same guy. He, he's going to be coming to visit me in the near future, so we'll see what that's all about. I have no idea. He just said, he just generalized a lot, which I didn't particularly care about, you know. But I said, that's right, yeah, you want, you want to come, come see it. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> it's interesting. That, John, here's your official bubble head. I hand painted the face. Also encloses a box of candy for wifey. Hope she feels better. Well, son of a gun. Well, thank you, Buzz. How about that? I'll save the candy. Uh, I'll, I won't even. Uh, I'll just leave the candy in the box and let wifey open that. Uh, you know, it's interesting. What do we got here? <laughs> oh my goodness sakes! Look at there. Look at that. Wow. How about that, guys? Huh? <laughs> now, this was in his video. Uh, the last video he did. 
involving the potatoes and me. It's interesting that he sent this to me because the guy that gave me a phone call said it involved this. And I really wasn't quite sure what he was talking about, but he didn't go into depth. But it, it involved this right here. This is a very good job, by the way. When I saw it on the uh, on the video, I went, wow, that's, that's really neat. And almost instantly, I received this first phone call about this. And I said, well, maybe I better just wait and see what this is going to be all about before getting back to good old buzz about it. That, that's a, it's a bobblehead, a bobblehead. It bobbles around. That's really slick. John from Arkansas, it says right there. He said he painted that. He did a real good job. It almost looks like me holding mackerel. Oh, my goodness. That is really cool. Let's set that baby over there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It looks like some of the... Uh, some of the laminate came off down here. I'm going to have to do something about that. The, the decal came off. I don't know how we're going to put that back on. See what I can do with that. Cool bagoo. Uh, nobody's got one of those, just me. Not even Buzz. He doesn't have one. <laughs> I'd like to know where he got it myself. Tell me where he got it, buddy. Send me an email. You got my email. Okay, now this other thing, this box of candy for wifey, I'm just going to leave it in the box. We'll go ahead and let her open that. She likes to open up stuff like that. It makes her feel even better. And, and she's so appreciative, you know. She tells me, she says, these people don't even know me. I said, well, they do indirectly, you know. Through me, they know you. They know great-grandma and, you know, and our grandson and kids and our, our son and his wife and whatnot. Through all the videos I've done, and we've done, what, 800 and some videos. If somebody had enough, uh, enough time on their hands to watch 800 videos, <laughs> they know all about well, we and our family, you know, this me and our family, so thanks a lot, Buzz. So I'll tell you what, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I, uh, I, di I did uh, work a little bit on the, uh, on the, uh, the, I got some work done on the, uh, the rims on the Thunderbird before wifey got sick and all that, so we're doing pretty good on that. Got a lot of dust and stuff on it. We'll have the tires on those pretty soon. And a couple other things. But that's it for now. Uh, but we're going to close this out. Because we're going to have to do a few shout-outs here. This is very important. I always like doing those shout-outs for people who deserve it. First off, shout-out for the box labels. Uh, jukebox labels. To our good buddy, Jake in Texas. And another shout out to our really good buddy, our good pal and friend, the unknown Omaha steak provider. <laughs> and another shout out to Ron C. This is from Wifey. A shout out from Wifey, Ron. but certainly not least and never least Buzz 1151 up in Portland, Oregon for our little bobblehead and our little box of candy for a wifey. <laughs> well, that's it for now, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, as Christmas is coming up and Every Christmas, I put money in the Salvation Army bucket. Uh, this year, I I don't know. I, I got so caught up with things, I didn't. Even, I couldn't even keep track of everything that has come in and all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, I think in December, hopefully Gerald will be down there at Walmart collecting as he usually does for Salvation Army. Uh, my, you've seen my videos. Where every Christmas, I go down and we, we donate money. I'm going to give some money. It'll be a, uh, it'll be a lump sum donation to Salvation Army in the name of all of our good subscribers who have sent me stuff over the years, who have assisted me in comments, uh, guys like Harry Hall, and of course certainly Brendan, and people like that, you know, uh, 
all of our good folks, uh, Lockmeister, uh, Atco, yeah, you know, two one 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 seven. It just the list just goes on and on and on. I can't I can't name them all. So we'll just do one lump sum donation in everybody's names. I'll try to draw up a big list of names. No, no I'm not going to do that because I might leave someone out and I'd feel real bad. And they wouldn't feel too good about it either. Gee, it'll just be all of our subscribers. How's that? Until next time, this is John. Okay, open it up. See what Buzz 1151 sent you. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thank you. I love this. Do you like turtles? I love turtles. She likes turtles. You hear that, Buzz? You trying to move in on my time, boy? Thank you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.